Now, the director of disease and control, Kaduna State Primary Health Care Development Agency, has urged civil society organizations and other stakeholders to work towards prevention rather than the treatment of malaria. He said this in Kaduna during an advocacy media meeting by civil society organizations in malaria control, immunization and nutrition. The director of disease prevention and control, Kaduna State Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Minu Zakari also said that there are three ways malaria can be eradicated. We have to look at it in three ways, or three dimensions, or three points, so to say. One, from the side of malaria, or the, the mosquito itself, and the other, other aspect, this, where does that mosquito breed, you understand? And we equally look at the man his, himself. Each and every person he may I actually see that he has a malaria parasite in his uh, own uh, body. Meanwhile, the state program officer, civil society in malaria control, Kaduna State, Ugidi Nimugodemus, and Abel Yahaya, respectively, said they have made significant progress in eradicating the disease in the state. Through our advocacy, the local government is able to capture malaria intervention in its 2020 budget. So you can see that there's an improvement. Then in, uh, in Zaria local government, through our, through our advocacy, the local government, is, is, the local government was able to, to make procurement of, uh, of fumigation, chemicals, fumigation chemicals to assist in, in uh, fumigating the environment. Why I emphasize on issue of sanitation is, uh, you know, when we were coming up, that is one of the things that uh, most parents or the government then engages the community to do. And uh, the emphasis is you cannot fight malaria without you tracing where the mosquitoes are, just like what the director said in there. If we are able to deal with the stagnant areas where the mosquitoes do hide, we can be able to control the level of malaria within our community.